Good morning. Bobby, please read the problem, and Bo, please translate. Flippin' physics. Three point objects are located at various locations on our Cartesian coordinate system. Stop. What's a Cartesian coordinate system? Uh, the Cartesian coordinate system is the coordinate system invented by René Descartes in, in the 17th century. It describes the locations of objects on a two-dimensional plane with the location 0, 0, or the origin, usually in the middle. Uh, it also has a horizontal x-axis and a vertical y-axis. Uh, actually, it can also describe locations of objects in three dimensions. That's, with a, that's right. I, I remember. Thanks, Billy. You are welcome. Bobby, please keep going. Actually, what is a point object? Oh, right, sorry. Um, a point object or point particle is an object that is small enough relative to the overall geometry of the situation such that the size and shape of the object are irrelevant. In other words, a point particle can be treated as if all of its mass is located at a single point in space. Yeah. Uh, Bobby? Mass 1 with a mass of 1.1 kilograms is located at 1.0, 1.5 meters. Stop. Uh. Mass 1 equals 1.1 kilograms. The position of mass 1 is at a point 1.0 meters to the right of the origin and 1.5 meters above the origin. Mass 2 with a mass of 3.4 kilograms is located at 3.0, 1.0 meters. Mass 2 equals 3.4 kilograms. The position of mass 2 is 3.0 meters to the right and 1.0 meters up. Mass 3 with a mass of 1.3 kilograms is located at 1.5, 2.5 meters. Mass 3 equals 1.3 kilograms. Position of mass 3 is 1.5 meters to the right and 2.5 meters up. Where is the center of mass of the three object system? Uh, position of the system center of mass equals question mark. Believe it or not, the letter R is generally used to describe the overall location of an object in two or three dimensional space. And it is always good to draw a picture of problems like these. Now, we have yet to discuss the general equation for the center of mass of a system of particles. So here it is. The position of the center of mass of the system equals the mass of object 1 times the position of object 1, plus the mass of object 2 times the position of object 2, plus as many of those mass times position expressions as exist in the system, all divided by the quantity mass 1 plus mass 2 plus as many masses as exist in the system. For example, in this three point object system, the equation has three expressions, one for each object. Notice I have specifically identified this as the x position center of mass. We will also determine the y position center of mass in a bit, and we could also determine the z position center of mass if we were doing a problem in a three-dimensional space. However, I don't think that is necessary right now. Also, realize the position of each object is relative to a zero reference point, which needs to be clearly identified. In this problem, the zero, zero position, or origin, was already clearly identified. However, it might not always be, and you may have to identify the zero reference point. Mr. P? Yes, Bobby? So, basically, the center of mass position equation locates the average position of every object. And objects with a larger mass have a larger influence over where the center of mass is. And the denominator of the equation is just the total mass of the system. That is great. And... I think it is important to reiterate that the center of mass is not just the average position of every object, but rather the mass weighted average position of every object. In other words, the mass of the object is taken into account when determining how much effect the object has over where the center of mass is. Billy, please begin solving the problem. Okay, sure. So, well, you, you already wrote down the equation for the exposition of the center of mass of the system. We just need to substitute in all the known values. So, it equals mass 1, which is 1.1, times the exposition of mass 1, which is 1, plus mass 2, which is 3.4, times the exposition of mass 2, which is 3, plus mass 3, which is 1.3, times the exposition of mass 3, which is 1.5, uh, all divided by the total mass, uh, which is 1.1 plus 3.4 plus 1.3. Um, that works out to be uh, 2.28448 
or 2.3 meters with two significant digits. Correct, Billy. Bo, please compute the y position center of mass. Okay, well, we use the same equation we just used, only replace all of the x's with y's. So it equals 1.1 times 1.5 plus 3.4 times 1 plus 1.3 times 2.5, all divided by the quantity 1.1 plus 3.4 plus 1.3. That equals 1.43103, or 1.4 meters with two significant digits. Therefore, the center of mass of this three-point particle system of particles is at the location 2.3 meters to the right of and 1.4 meters above the origin. Notice how the center of mass is different than the geometric center of the three-particle system, which would be located right here, at an x position of 1.8 and a y position of 1.7 meters. This geometric center is called the centroid. The geometric center, or centroid, does not account for the different masses of the particles and is where the center of mass would be if they all had the same mass. Visually, that may be where you expect the center of mass to be. However, because our three objects have different masses, the center of mass and geometric center, or centroid, are not in the same location. Thank you very much for learning with me today. I enjoyed learning with you.